she's not working anymore because she understands to keep her higher, to keep herself. She stays home and takes care of her home. And her husband says, what happened to you? She says, yesterday I read an ayah in the Quran. I read the hadith from the Prophet wasallam, And it made me cry to think about my religion. And I'm not doing that no more. And so he said, then I don't want you. You have become extreme. So she have now become stranger. Alhamdulillah. If he leave her, we ask Allah to give her another stranger. To give her someone else who is also a stranger. Because strangers belong with strangers. It will challenge your iman. It will challenge your commitment. The issue of deen came to distinguish father from son. The issue of deen came to distinguish mother from daughter. The deen came to separate individuals from the family. To separate families from the tribe. And to separate the tribe from the nation. On the basis of what? Deen. The Prophet wasallam said, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnatu khulafa al-rashidin al-mahdiyin uddu alayhim bin nawajid Hold on to them with what? Not your front teeth, the back teeth, your molars. Belief, commitment, sacrifice, knowledge, obedience, fear of Allah, Consistency, courage, steadfastness, loyalty, respect, love for each other, brotherhood, discipline, patience, support, cooperation. These are the characteristics of the strangers. If we listen to the ayats which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to them, all of these ayats was calling them to these characteristics. Iman. Sacrifice. وَتُجَاهِدُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ بِأَمْوَالِكُمْ وَأَنفُسِكُمْ Knowledge. يَرْفَئِ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْعِلْمُ دَرَجَاتِ Wallahu bima ta'maluna khabir Obedience Wa ma atakum Allah Ati Allah wa ati al-Rasul Ya ayuha ladhina amanu taqu Allah Wa tawasaw bil haq Wa tawasaw بالصبر وتواسوا بالصبر وتواسوا بالمرحمة أصبروا وصابروا ورابطوا الله ولي الذين آمنوا يخرجهم من الظلمات إلى النور والذين كفروا أولياؤهم الطاغوت يخرجونهم من النور إلى الظلمات love for each other the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said the strangers they have love for each other so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, in one of the hadith al-Qudasi, أَيْنَ الْمُتَحَابُّونَ بِجَلَالِ الْيَوْمَ أُذِلُّهُمْ لَا ذِلَّ إِلَّا ذِلِّي Who are those who love each other for my sake? This day, 
I will give them shade on a day there will be no shade except my shade. Oh, Muslim brothers and sisters, you and I, we should want to be strangers. We should want to be a part of the return of the strangers. And we should realize that no matter what the non-Muslims do, no matter what they try to do to blow out and extinguish the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by blowing with their mouths, meaning their television, their cinema, their newspapers, their books, their radio, whatever they do against Islam, the lies, the distortion, the misconception, whatever they do to try to wipe out Islam, they will never wipe Islam out because Allah يُتِمُّ نُورِهِ وَلَوْ كَرِهَ الْكَافِرُونَ Allah will perfect his light and he will perfect it through the strangers. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he make you and I of the strangers. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he give our sons and daughters love for the strangers. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that our sons and daughters who have taken off their clothes and out in the jahiliya world who are selling drugs who are in the clubs, who have went astray, we ask Allah, they will come back to become strangers. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the Muslims who is in this masjid this, e this evening, the men who are here in this masjid, that they will come back to this masjid, not tomorrow evening, but in the morning for the Fajr prayer, so they can pray with the strangers. Because when the Muslims in Palestine, when the Muslims in Afghanistan, when the Muslims in Somalia, when the Muslims in Shishan, when the Muslims in Egypt, when the Muslims in Morocco, when the Muslims in Algeria, when the Muslims wherever they are, when they come out and begin to pray in the masjid as strangers, then Allah will give their earth back to them, their irt back to them, their kuwa back to them, because Islam then will be back. But you should not ask for the reward of the strangers if you're not acting like the strangers. And as long as the kuffar whom you associate with on your jobs, in your neighborhood, as long as they like you so much, you should think about it how they like you so much. O Muslims, one of the most powerful things Allah gave to the strangers that made us Muslim the most powerful thing Allah gave to those strangers is the issue of da'wah. Da'wah ila Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You and I, we have the power in our mouths. We have the power in our chests. We have the power in our minds. We have more power than any other bomb in the world. Yes, the kuffar, they have the neutron bomb, they have the hydrogen bomb, they have the atom bomb, they got this bomb and that bomb, and they will blow up everything on the earth. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have not given them a bomb that will allow the hearts to explode. But Allah gave that bomb to us. The bomb that Allah gave to us is the D bomb. The Dawa bomb. It is the bomb that doesn't blow up any buildings. It is the bomb that doesn't break any bones. It is the bomb that doesn't harm anyone. It is the bomb that penetrates minds and hearts and causes people to explode inside and become strangers. You and I carry the bomb with us every day. But we're talking about some other bomb. We are reacting to some other bomb because we are fearing someone else other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us that the izza is for him man tasha'u yu'izzu man tasha'u wa yudhillu man tasha'u 
it belongs to Allah.